okay guys hi okay we're about to start now okay this is um my sharpened pencils i like having two sharpened pencils this one's a little bit blonde but i'll leave it like that but this one is quite sharp so i'll start so my um sharpener my eraser everything together okay so let's go so like i said i like to start with the neck of the mannequin or we'll go again okay let, let me clean it a little bit because I'm, I'm about to draw a dress so it might take a lot of the book you can see the book is plain it's plain nothing not inscripted on it before so let's start i'll take it a little bit i'll take it to the top because I, I'll, I'll be drawing a long dress so this is my mannequin like i said i like to start with the neck it gives me a guide towards the body so this is it this is it this pencil is not as sharp as i want but let me check this one okay this one is a little bit better i thought this one is even sharper than the one i had before so this is it this is a rough sketch of the body of the mannequin like i said i'll take it all the way down now i'm going to be drawing a dress so it's much easier the last time i drew a, tra a pants trousers a trousers sorry and top so this one is going to be a lot easier because i'm using the full body like this okay so i've gotten my mannequin this is the shoulder this is the hand where the hand is supposed to be if you're supposed to put hand like this but we're not putting a hand so it's just the mannequin like this so it's going to be rough now but i will as much as possible to make it neater as we go okay so this is what i wanted this is a dress so i'm putting a dress on her now the idea on my head um okay i have um okay come all the way but first of all i like to highlight the bust i was supposed to highlight the bust sorry i'll go back again i will highlight the bust of the mannequin like this so now I want to put um, a, a dress on her, I guess. I want it to be a, a tiny sleeve, like this. You can see this is the arm. Let's give room for the arm to come. So this is the bust, like this. It's a deep V neck dress. So I'm going to highlight the cleavage <laughs> for those of us that like to show cleavages. This is a cleavage. If you can see it. It's too my pencil is not properly sharpened. Let me make it really sharp. It's not giving me what I want, the, sh the sharp edges. So look, I think it's sharp enough now. So it gives me one line and not two. So this is for the cleavage. Okay, I've gotten a look of a, a little bit of what I want to achieve at the top. So I I'll go all the way like this. It's a it's a it's a flowing dress flowing um, dress six pieces which with constructed edges i guess i want it uh, really detailed i guess i guess like this it's just a uh, something to give it more edge at the <laughs> i like drama on my dresses sometimes especially for me to major outfits made to fit custom custom um outfit I like to do it like this. I like to give it some edge, as well as statement pieces, dresses that it's not just oh I just want to wear the dress. The dress has to make a statement, maybe for an event, a wedding, an occasion, like that. So I'll give it more edge like this, like this, like this. When you, when you practice with free hands, it, it gives you, make your hand a little more flexible, like this. Like this. Okay, so when you look at it, you can see it's an edgy design, it's an edgy dress. Okay, so this is it, this is what it looks like. So it's a little bit rough, like I said. It's always going to be rough at the start, but gradually you need your eraser to give you, you, you need to clean. 
first of, and again, while drawing, when you are drawing, don't make it the, the, the first drawing, don't press your pencil, don't press your pencil hard so that it doesn't give you this line when you've cleaned. Just keep it light because definitely you'll clean. But if you keep it too hard on it, if you press your pencil too much, it would, it would, um, what's it called? It would give you, when you've even cleaned, when you've, when you've erased, you'll see the lines and it's going to be really rough. So just try as much as possible not to press your pencil hard. Just keep it light on it. So go all the way down. I feel my V is too high. It's too high. I really wanted to show some cleavage. But it's up to your client if she after after sketching, you can make adjustments to fit your client's taste of um, choice of outfit. Some persons really like open cleavages, while some don't like it. It depends. But in whatever you are doing, try as much as possible not to alter your design so much. Keep it as the idea as it is. But maybe with little of with little alterations. So this is it. It's rough. I will do it, I'll make it neatly and engage it. So you can see it's a dress. Okay, it's a full dress. So, but now I like to, I like my mannequin to be complete. Especially the one, the headless mannequin. Maybe in our next tutorial, we'll draw a mannequin with a head. But for now, it's headless, it's handless, it's just the body, the the, the bust and to the hip that we, we're, we're making now. So in the next video, hopefully we'll do make the one with. So this is this is just a simple plain dress, no fabric yet, no color on it. So this is it. So this is what it looks like. So you can see it's a dress idea. On it. So at the end of the day, I'll cover it out to really make it neat, to clean all your edges, all the extra extra edges, to make it neat. So if you just want to add maybe just extra okay you like maybe you feel the top part is too plain or the bottom part is too busy you no know, of course the bottom the bottom part of this dress is where the whole drama is so some persons will want to leave it plain and oh i like my drama at the bottom don't add anything extra but if you still want to just maybe add a little drama more or a little detail you can just add drape some pleated edges if you want to add some pleated pleated edges to make it more unique can do this with that edges that is going to drape just ending here with it. so this is it so this is your dress on the mannequin this is a mannequin without a dress without sleeve if you decide that oh i want my dress to have sleeve you can just do it like this erase here erase here and give it like this all the way down you can add your sleeve all the way down, all the way, all the way down. But in this case, I want it sleeveless. I don't want it um, covered to the top. So this is it. Just keep it here, I guess. Like this. Okay, so that's it. So always gauge. If you, if you check, if you see, look very well, this side is fatter than this. You can decide to measure with those tiny rulers. Or you can decide to do your use your eye gauge. Me, I'm used to using my eyes to gauge it. So this is fine. That's what we need. Alright, so till the next class, have an amazing day.